Well, let me put my glove on. Okay, gonna put my get this little thing here and start tackling this uh, restack job. I noticed that when I was filming yesterday, it got awfully dark out here because it was evening. Yeah, look at this. That thing, this eight footer was stacked to the top, four feet up. And it was level on the ground. I didn't actually stack that. That's the wood that the electric, uh, Terrell County Electric Co-op cut up. When I came out after they left and came around from the truck, I saw that they had stacked all of this on this wood rack. I thought, gosh, how nice of them. That's really nice of them. And you know, it's big fresh rounds and it was all, all the way to the top. And when this happened, it happened in the night. It happened in the night. You see all this wood that fell? I mean, it took something strong to do that. Now this was my stack and that was just a stack of a few. Of course, the snow's melting. Something strong knocked that down. You can see that it's not knocked down there. Snow's melting, but there's no way of knowing. See, now that's, that's gotta be my print, see? My print fits into there, so that's mine. It's awfully hard to... Huh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, now what is this? What kind of print left that in the snow? Huh, that doesn't look like an elk print to me. Whereas this, these round marks, you see then there's a thing in there, that's like an elk standing. These round marks, round melted in the snow marks, that's probably from elk. Okay. That's pretty really big, but you're not going to imagine elk standing in the snow and then that melts. Oh my God. Look at this. Now look at that. That's unusual. But could that be my own? Well, no, that's too long. That's too long for my feet. But that could be two little elk things that didn't completely... Gosh, it's beautiful. There, it's getting dark. I didn't have a chance to really look at the prints out here to see what it could have been. Oh my gosh, look at this. Of course, a lot of that's been melted from prints. This matches a, that looks similar, but no, no, my foot is longer than that. So that's, huh. That's a wider but shorter than my feet. I wear a size eight. Okay, I'm walking in the snow over here. Let's, 
And look at this. This very similar print to the other one. And that's shorter than mine. Oh, is there such a thing as a baby Bigfoot? I guess so. If it's that. If it's that. That would be something, you know, among human beings and yeah, you know, some snotty little adolescent Bigfoot thinking, hey, I'm going to show off how strong I am or something. Now, let's see how, so I just walked through there and we can see what, what my boots do. Let's see, they're not melting like that because these are, these are melting because whatever was standing here was heavy, very heavy, like elk would be. Elk would be heavy. So that their feet would go all the way down. Well, I'm not a footprint expert, but that's interesting. There's another one there. Huh. Oh yeah, there's that. I stood in it though, but yeah. Oh, it's a lot longer than my foot. It's a lot longer. Huh. You know, I was half joking about Bigfoot. I was just being silly. I mean, I know there's some... Huh. My goodness. See, whatever it is, it weighs a lot. Because it's managed to go all the way down to the ground. Well, I'm not an expert. I'm going to guess this is from elk, though. That's not round. That's a footprint. It's not mine, though. Huh. And again, you know, I'm walking around because I don't weigh that much. I'm not even going down to the ground. I'm... Well, that's interesting. Mystery. Who knocked this down? Bigfoot or an elk? I really don't think bear. They should be hibernating. Wow. Now that's that real long print. Well, it's a mystery. Look at that, that looks like a baby print. What in the heck was up here? That's like some baby print. Now here are my feet. Oh yeah, my feet are much bigger. What are you growling at? Good heavens. My word. That was a baby print.